Hello everyone, welcome back to Family Bible Time. We've finished now looking at the life of Jacob in the book of Genesis. And now, because we're getting close to Easter, we're going to think about some of the things that Jesus did just before he died on the cross. So if you want to act along with us today, what you'll need is someone to be Jesus, Something to be a donkey, it could be any animal or just something grey. We need two disciples, two followers of Jesus. Some branches, I just got these off one of the weeds in my garden so it don't need to be very fancy. And then as many people as you can to be the rest of the people. And I've given some tissue cloaks to some of mine which might be useful later. So if you want to act along, why don't you get those things? Or you could act yourselves and be the people in the story. It's completely up to you if you want to do it. Jesus and his followers were coming closer to Jerusalem. They came to the towns of Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives. There, Jesus sent two of his followers and said to them, go to the town you see there. When you enter it, you will find a colt which no one has ever ridden. A colt just means a young donkey. Untie it and bring it here to me. If anyone asks you why you are doing this, tell him the master needs the colt. He will send it back soon. So then the followers went into the town and they found a colt tied in the street near a door of the house and they untied it. Some people were standing there and asked, what are you doing? Why are you untying that colt? The followers answered the way Jesus told them to answer and the people let them take the colt. The followers brought the colt to Jesus. They put their coats on the colt and Jesus sat on it. Many people, hold on, I need my many people. Many people spread their coats on the road. Others cut branches in the field and spread the branches on the road. Some of the people were walking ahead of Jesus and others were following him and all of them were shouting, praise God. God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. God bless the kingdom of our father David. The kingdom is coming. Praise to God in heaven. So Jesus came into Jerusalem on a donkey, which might seem like a weird thing to do, but this is something God promised his king was going to do. In fact, hundreds of years before, the prophet Zechariah promised this. Your king is coming to you. He does what is right and he saves. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. So Jesus came on a donkey to show that he was the king God had promised. There we go, he's got a crown because he's a king. He was a gentle king, a king riding on a donkey, a king who was going to save people. And it looked like the people there understood who Jesus was. They treated him like a king, didn't they? They put cloaks on the road, they put branches, they were shouting, God's kingdom is coming. They said, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. But they didn't understand how he was going to save them. Jesus was going to die on the cross to save them. That's what God said his promised saving king would do. So we can praise Jesus that he's the king. Wow, amazing, just like these people did. But we can praise him not just that he's the king, but that he's the kind of king who would die to save his people. 
people like you and me. So let's say thank you to Jesus. Wow, what an amazing king. Who in your family is going to pray today? Great, let's pray. Amen. Well, now it's time for some questions so you can chat more about the Bible story that we just heard. What did Jesus ride on? What did this show us about who Jesus is? What kind of king is Jesus? What did he do to save his people? 